Alrighty, starting a bit later than I normally do, but let us... Oh, right, controller. I'm like, where's my mouse? <laughs> there is no mouse because I'm using the controller with this game. Hey, trash bird. I've definitely grown quite a bit since then. A little bit taller. A regular bit wider. Rad Dad said I was sturdy. Screw it, I am sturdy. The boxes! Hey, Mom. Mm. Um. Okay. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. You're lying. So, honey, do you feel like talking about school yet? Okay. So, what's the story? Just felt like it wasn't where I should be. Where you should be? What does that even mean? Uh, never mind. Let's talk about this later. Any idea when you might want to do that? Because, honey, I'm all ears. I really am dying to find out. Why you decided to up and abandon all the plans we made as a family. Jeez, Mom. Where's this coming from? You know you're the... The first Borowski to go to college. Yeah, Mom, I know. I only heard that since I was, like, six. Well, honey, we'd been planning for it since you were born. Spent a good 18 years and got into all kinds of trouble just for you to decide you'd rather be here. Might as well have taken all that effort and money and worry and dumped it in a hole. You like having one of your mood swings again? Uh, like I'm the moody one in this house. You are the moody one in this house. Well, enjoy this house while we still have it. What? What's happening to the house? Maybe it just isn't where we should be. Mom, this isn't funny. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. Why start now? Go off and do whatever it is you do. You know what? Maybe if I'd had more examples of, you know, getting out and making something of myself. No. No. You do not get to. Maybe you wanted me to get out of here because you never got around to doing it yourself. Maybe I'm just the most recent failure. In the line of failures that is our family. I'm leaving now. Well, this got awkward fast. Let's do construction over there. Probably going to have to come back and climb over to the roof because I think it another day. Whoa, decorations. Girl, you can't mess around on Halloween. Jeez. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. Bats and moon against the gloom. Mm -hmm. The night is black. I made a snack. Cool. I microwaved pizza, I'd say. Though pizza cold is breakfast gold. That's so true. It really happened. Big Halloween fan here. Yeah, me too, obviously. Going to Harfest? Nah, staying here for the trick-or-treaters. You are a saint. Harfest is dumb. Really? I love it. I mean, are you eight years old? No, I'm not. Eh. Oh, come on. Get on the stairs. Thank you. Don't touch my pumpkin. I don't see the teacher up there, so I don't have to climb up on the roof, thank goodness.
delicious pretzels, I thought the prompt was gone there for a moment. That's new. Where is everybody? What? Oh my god. We used to do that. Awesome. Well, you go easy on my street. Deal. Yeah, doing that made my lips tingle. to go pester mother some more. No one in the chapel. Or sanctuary, or whatever you want to call it. I'm busy. Can't go into the library yet. What's this? <clears throat> Breathe some fire already, dude. Howdy. You waiting for someone? Well, I think I'm being stood up. A date? Not the kind you mean. Honestly, a big part of my job is someone calling. Me heading out. Them not showing up. You were meeting them at the statue of Saint... Rubello. Yeah, the fire-breathing guy. Who, like, ate people. That... That's a bit of an oversimplification. But yeah, basically. Cool guy to have a statue of. Outside the church, I mean. Well, I didn't put it here. But can't we learn something from Saint Rubello? Breathe fire, eat people. Breathe fire? Sure. Statues are part of our Encourage Criminal Acts Outreach. It's working. How's the situation? The situation? With Bruce and stuff. Eh. We wait and see. And pray. Hello, Bruce. Do I go down to Harfest tonight? Don't know. Maybe. Keep to myself. You should say hi if you're there. I'll be there. Okay. We'll see, I suppose. Oh, hey. Something new. Hey! Hello? Hey! Traveler from distant lands, you have journeyed far, and it has brought you here. To us. Actually, I walked like 15 minutes from my house. Walker, far from home, we will tell of your future. But first, be truthful. Tell us. Which of these have you seen? A shipwreck? A ghost on a hill? 
An arrow broken. Broken? Really? I, um, hmm. They're all like 14 year old goths. Why am I answering this? The ghost we've been seeing. No? False. You have failed. We cannot help you. It may see us once more, but it is not certain. And then never again. Okay. Uh, have fun, kids. Fun is all we have. You, like, practice that talking in turn thing? You're not going to narc on us to the pastor, right? For being out here? Nah. Cool, thanks. I'm very unsure if that there's a right. You know, shipwreck was probably the answer from the uh, playground. I'll try that next time if I get the chance. I can jump on there from here. Not that there's much point in me doing that when all the dialogue is down below. That Ferris wheel looks like a nightmare. Thanks, Colleen. That's helpful. What's wrong with it? I don't trust giant load-bearing machines you can assemble and disassemble in one day. It's the hit record. We've always had the hit record at Harvest Fest. Yeah, since 1984. Maybe that's a clue that we should retire it. Shut up, Andrew. Okay, everyone, let's just take a step back here and cool down. Who started it? We are going to have the hit record at Harfest tonight. Fine, then I'll send all lawsuits your way. Bring it, Colleen. Oh, hi, Aunt May. Hey, Aunt Mallcop. Mallcops don't carry guns, May. Jeez. I guess you need that gun for... What are you doing? Blocking off the road. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't want to do that without a gun. You know how many times I've shot someone? No. Tell me now. Once. You kill him? No. So you're saying you don't really need it, then? should carry a battle axe. That would be impressive. I'll look into it. Aw, everything's so great and heart festy. Which is basically just a less spooky Halloween. Whatever. I just want to head home and get ready for tonight. Could just do that. Or I could wander a bit. Take in the harfesty air. Well, I'll get home when I do. <laughs> That's the hint to go home. <laughs> you hyped for Harfest? Um, Harfest is pretty dumb, right? I'm going to watch a bunch of old Dracula movies from the 60s. That actually sounds really cool. It is. Going to get a pizza, too. All to myself. Wow, you have life way more figured out than I did at your age. Really? What were you doing then? Hanging out in really embarrassing places online, ruining my life. Yep. See ya. Later. Oh, you have more dialogue. Rip. Happy Halloween! Hey, 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 you too. You feeling spooky? Oh, extremely, can't you tell? Do your spooky face. 
Angus, you're just smiling. And it's adorable, not scary. Oh. Nice effort, though. Thank you. I don't know, depending on the smile, that could be real creepy. Going to Harfest? Nah, I'm going to watch the game. Is there a game tonight? Well, no, but I was going to watch my fave highlights. Why don't you come out? Might be good. Stretch your legs, see the parade. Ever seen the game live? Nah, never. Come on out to Harfest. Never know. Yeah, alright. Yeah, go smelters. Go smelters! Hey man, how's things? Good, Harfest Rush. No one's in here. You missed it. The horror. Oh. I done got horrored. Being horrored at work is the worst one. Is this? Yeah, getting horrored at work is bad. When I had that job that one time, I worked the longest night rush. You know, you've never mentioned having a job? Ugh, that's a story for another time. Anyway, you're here now, and I'm here now. It's a lovely day. I was worried I'd have to smash these light bulbs all by myself. So what's up? Nothing. Very interested in this light bulb smashing. <laughs> Later. Hey, Germ. Hey, May. Hey, I'm Skip... Scams? Scams? That's Jenna. Hi. Hi. I'm Bill Don. And I'm Germ. I'm May. I completely forgot what I was going to say. Hey, Germ, you coming to Harfest? Eh, maybe. Are you guys going? Yeah, we might hop over. Check out the party. I mean, y'all got ghosts here for real, right? Yeah. What? Little Joe, you know? Yeah, man, local legend. My man Tapeworm? Out in Bright Harbor? Told me never got off in this town. Told me he never got off in this town because of the ghost. Oh, that's a load of crap. Sneaks into rail yards and snatches up the good and pure. Well, you kids got nothing to fear, then. Damn it, old-timer, we're pure as the air. Alright, well, I guess I'll see some of you there. Nice to meet you. Same, little lady. See ya, germ. See ya. Oh, I guess I'm going light bulb smashing. What's up? Uh, I'm very interested in this light bulb smashing. Hell yeah, dude!
Would you stop that? <laughs> what the hell? But blam! Jeez, May. Well, you threw it over me. I did the math on how much these things cost. Should try hitting it with the bat. Well, maybe if you threw it closer to me. Ah! Okay, I'm done before I lose an eye. So what's up? Nothing. Okay, so I guess that was just a little side thing. I don't get to keep sm smashing light bulbs. Suppose it's back home I go. B doesn't want to talk to me, go figure. Nobody home. I upsetted the peoples. No, I don't need to go in there. No new chats. Oh yeah, normal clothes. Oh yeah, time to get spooky. Do I get to play? Nope. Sweet. Which taga? Still no new messages. Oh, I can't jump in this outfit. Still nobody home. Hello? Hmm, they must already be out. Harvest. Halloween. So many pages to fill. I am very much locked into where I'm going. Fortune and Splashem. Dare you spin the wheel of destiny? Explain. None can explain the power of the wheel. <laughs> say, say that is an unknowable circular soothsayer. Oh snap, is it going to say the soothe? The soothe, the, the soothe shall be said. Okay, I'm into this. Wow, what a weak spin that was. Is your arm injured? It is a little sore lately, actually. I could tell I see all. 
Your fortune is your future. A place you will be soon. You will soon be forever. Okay, that checks out. Your card says much. You shall know many troubles, even until the end of your days. Oh. Yep. I feel like that's just everyone's life. Everyone's got problems. How is this a fortune? The cards do not lie. The wheel that chooses the card is unknowable. So this is unknowable truth. You have learned much, child. I'm 20. Oh, that was interesting. May the wheel ever spin in your favor. All right, then. Hold up. Colleen, how did you get into this thing? God damn it. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Welcome to Harfest Spooktacular Water Balloon Toss. You know what to do. Or can figure it out pretty quick. Okay, let's go. Woo, you hit this. Ook. I'm a scary spirit. Haunt you for that. Ah. Uh. Oh no, I'm dead again. Oh no, you've hit the evil witch. Side the pumpkin. You got me the pumpkin wet. Rattle, rattle, I'm the skeleton. Still, damn it. <laughs> oh, come on, that one didn't count. Oh, that sure was something. On behalf of the Possum Springs Town Council, we urge you to support local businesses. Enjoy our historic home. Possum Springs, more. Kathleen, no. More like Awesome Springs. Okay, we're done. I got 20 points. Yay! Oh, I can now go into the old pickaxe. Hey, hey, what you up to? Seriously? We're putting on this year's Harfest pageant. Oh, right, okay. Live from the old pickaxe. When's the thing supposed to start? Uh, ten minutes, I think? You think? Ugh, this is a nightmare. Why did I ever agree to do this? Chamber of Commerce owes me big for this. Jeez, I hear ya. What? Okay, so here's the thing. You won't have many lines. What? I've had like three no-shows. Why? Because this whole thing is stupid and no one cares about it. B. Please, it's a fun part. B. Yeah? I will totally save your ass. I might have this memorized from when I was a kid. Probably not. They rewrote it like six times in the past two years to be spookier. So it's like 20% actual history now. Like 80% spooks. So 
like fake history now. Okay, weird. Starts off normal, but gets... Anyway, got like five minutes to look at your lines. I can wing it. May, please don't wing it. Okay. Oh, I didn't see ye there. Be ye ghosts? Are ye here to hear the tale of how Possum Springs came to be? <laughs> Through the mists of time I see weary fur trappers from 1793. Brother John. Yes, Brother Stephen. From this vantage point I do spy a deep hollow, and within a great dead tree, and besides with the which a spring. Blessed are we, Brother Stephen, for truly my throat is parched from these long and arduous travels, and carrying these three hundred beaver pelts. Let us make haste, O excellent brother. Oh, travelers, help an extremely old woman. Oh, travelers, spare a crust of bread for a needy woman. Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. I have my eyes shut. This one. Oh, travelers, help an extremely old woman. Uh, please help. Uh. Oh, no, I am med cobwebs from being so old. I must have food to restore my youthful form for us. Uh, the travelers had no idea what this meant. Haggard witch. Horrible to look upon. Cruel young men, ye did not even offer one of thy three hundred fine beaver pelts to warm my ancient bones. Shall curse ye in thee. Thou art rude and <laughs> naughty boy. He's not the messiah. He's a very naughty boy. And this very night ye shall perish. <laughs> I am fearful. Steady, Brother Stephen. I did not venture out into these hills to joust words with a hell hag. Yee hee hee hee. I was born among these trees, neath a harvest moon, and ye shall die under that moon. Brother John, I am frightened. Faith, Brother Stephen, art thou so easily shaken by the ramblings of an old crone? Come, help me carry these three hundred beaver pelts. But little did anyone know that the witch did not curse in vain. <laughs> Help, help! Who will help a poor traveler? Oh, hi, Greg. Um, um, uh, by the moon and stars above us, sir, I beseech thee, what is thy trouble? You're in this? Yep. Ah, witch! Yep. I swear thee, friend, that this very day, this horrifying crone, did curse my brother and I to die. Zounds! We camped by this very spring beneath the dead tree, and even now his body lieth upon the earth, lifeless as a pile of three hundred beaver pelts. Oh, it chilleth the heart. <laughs> I did curse this spring, a curse upon rude young men. That's not... Um, she has cursed the spring, and now I shall die. <laughs> wow. I am also undone, for I have drinketh of the water. Don't leave me here, Greg. Bye! 
And yet, even there, the curse's lust for blood would not be sated. Gaze upon them, gaze upon these spirits. Brother, we are now ghosts. Ah, I am tormented by the accusing glare of three hundred ghostly beavers. It would seem that all who die here are cursed to never leave. Doth that witch know what she hath done? Um, uh, crap. For, for each man is determined on his path. And each path leads only to his end. Okay. Yet each path may lead to places unknown. You, from the bus station. Young witch. It is I, the god of the forest. Uh, just didn't expect you to... Ain't that the way? So, which thou hast tarried too long in this world, I banish thee to wander in the night through the stranger places. Oh god, how did you know? Young witch, let me speak wisdom to you. We begin and we end at night in the woods. But that is not the whole of the story. This is your line. Oh, that's no power here. <laughs> Even now thy end beginneth. Ack, my infernal powers! Shh, young witch. Even now the world you know endeth. And who can say what lieth in the world to come? Wow. Beware as you go, for there are ghosts. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> and so was founded then this festival. On Halloween we shall celebrate the dying of the year and the founding of Possum Springs. I, Mayor Ghost, decree it. The beaver population suffered a decline, and now our biggest exports are corn and pumpkins. We used to be the county seat. Yee hee hee. Now leave before I curse you all. Oh no, audience. And that's our show. Be careful as you leave here, for who knows what may lurk in the darkness. Also be sure to pick up a flyer on your way out. From the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Support your spooky local businesses. Oh, well, that was certainly something. So, how would I do? Jeez, thanks, guys. I am never doing that again. So, what are we doing now? Well, I'm going home. Angus is making dinner, and we're going to watch horror movies. Can I come? It's more a date thing. Oh. What are you doing, B? Chamber of Commerce folks are going to the buffet out by Hamp Panther. Kind of have to go. Business stuff. I hate this. But you're good at it. Both of those things can be true. Can I come? Nope. Okay, well, good night. Night. This is garbage.
Um. What the? Oh my god. Hey, anyone? Shit. Oh boy, getting ourselves involved in shit we shouldn't be. An actual plot. Pent, pent. Where the hell did he go? Shit. Still can't jump. Mm, spooky music. May, go home. There's a guy up there on the hill. He stole some kid? He looked like a ghost. A ghost, huh? Or something like that? May, you shouldn't be out here, doing whatever it is you're doing. No, no one should be out here. But there's this guy. I'll drive you home, May. No. May, now. Um... Okay. Am I in a nightmare? Part three, the long fall. Messages. Hey May, thanks so much for your help last night. Woke up and realized that I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. Oh good, she doesn't completely hate us. Hey dude, sorry couldn't hang last night. Angus says he's sorry too. Band practice today because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work, bye! Oh, clock has new dialogue. Wonder if the new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big ol' thing upstairs. Like you, but different. Huge and spooky. Making weird noises at night. Aw, oh, I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of granddad. We need more of those. Hmm. We're all looking a bit older, I guess. Weird to take, like, one moment and make it, like, the official version of us. Nope. Jump. Talk to the bird. You're just, like, the same every day. What is your bird existence like? Nope. Do-do-do we have any detective books out here? Oh, of course. Of course we do. Do we have any books about ghosts? Like real life ghosts? Do we have any books for nut jobs, I guess? No, this is good. Research is good. Confront the problem head on. You're not losing it, dude. You're in fact keeping it. Very close. Hey, hon. Yeah? Come say hello, why don't you? Hey, hon. Hey, mom. 
You look really tired. So do you. So I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Gray and drizzly. I could go for that today. Hey, hon. Yeah. Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff. I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want a repeat of a few years ago. I'm really sorry, Mom. About all of it. Hey, May, you okay? I'm fine. Guess I'm stressed, too. Saw some weird stuff last night. Or I think I did. Want to talk about it? Later, I'm still, like, putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. So what are you stressed about? Well, I guess you're a grown-up now. Just spill it, Mom. After your incident a few years back, as you know, we went into some debt soothing th that over. Jeez, I'm still so sorry about that. It's in the past. Let's not go back over it. Okay. When it came time to get you off to school, we took advantage of a kind of mortgage to make sure you were taken care of. Okay. Well, it turns out it wasn't a very good deal. And I just feel so stupid. They like to offer these mortgages to people who maybe don't have a lot of money and aren't used to getting offers like this. Why? Because the bank took advantage of us. And now they own the house, and we owe them more than it's worth. What does that mean? It means we're not sure how long into the future we'll have the house. Holy crap, we're in trouble, huh? I'm a huge jerk. It's okay, sweetie, don't worry. What you reading? It's a book of unsolved mur unsolvable murders. Did they all happen? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Sure. Want to hear a real teaser? Sure. Not right now. Got a jet. All right. There's a man lying dead in a kitchen. The bullet wound in his head. There's a man there with him. He's got some blood on his right hand. But no gun. Huh. Last thing. The dead guy has a scar on the back of his head. Do you know the answer? Well, I don't know if there is... There... I don't know if there's one answer. It's supposed to get you thinking about murder. <laughs> Can't solve a murder without one. Okay, so I have a question. What scar does the dead guy have? Who's the other guy in the room? What else is in the room? A strange line a few inches across, hidden under the hair. Hmm. Okay, I think I got it. Wow, what you got? The guy in the room is a surgeon. He implanted a magnet in the dead guy's skull. That's why he has that scar. And the suspect used a super magnet or something on the dead guy's forehead. She pulled the magnet out through the dude's head. <laughs> That's why he has blood on one hand. Yep, and I bet the murder weapons are stuck to the fridge. Holding up a pic of Aunt Dottie. Oh, bravo, sweetie. Thank you, thank you. We'd make quite a pair of investigators. Could open a detective agency in town. Could use one right now, probably. Always work for crime solvers. All right, I'm going to get going. Love you, daughter detective. You too, Inspector Mom. Okay, so... Didn't seem like it actually added anything there. Still working. I suppose I can't go up to the roof in this weather to look at stars. Too many clouds. How's it going, Selmers? How was your Halloween? Weird. 
went to Harfest. Saw some messed up shit I, that I think was real. Then I had a really bad nightmare. Cool, I stayed in and ate candy and watched TV. Halloween episodes were on. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Whoa. Yep. Wanna hear a new poem? Sure. Autumn winds, autumn sins. Okay. Autumn times, autumn crimes. Counts as an autumn sin. Cheating on your wife with some gas station skank. In November. Oh, right, yeah, that's, uh, inconsiderate. Hey, Mr. Ch Chazelkov. Yes, Soma? Going to break your neck someday. I'll make sure to fall right on you. Haha, <laughs> well, I'm big a big enough target. Haha, <laughs> bigger than you. We should be covered. You too. Leaves, leaves, leaves. Is that a poem? And I guess he is on the roof, so I gotta go back and climb up this shit. Get on the stairs, thank you. The missus varnished the porch herself. Don't go tracking mud all over it. Surprised he's out on the roof in this weather. Boing, 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 boing. Because walking on a telephone wire in the middle of the rain is a smart idea. Miss May Borowski. Present. Mmm, smell the autumn winds. Yeah, hard to miss it. One should not miss such thing such a thing. Talking of, wanna see some stars? How can we see it? It's cloudy and rainy. Arg, I'm blind. This is your own fault at this point, I would say. Found one. Let's see. Big snake. Big snake? Yep. Anything else? Big snake emerged from the earth and made war upon the villages. What villages? You know, villages. Okay. And as he wrapped himself around them, the villagers saw that they were encircled by the same big snake. They came together, and together slew the big snake. You learn. Why does big snake attack the people? You have sympathy for the big snake? Jeez, I don't know, but can we just keep saying big snake? Big snake. Big snake. Big snake. Here, starry, 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 starry. Hmm? Star located, Captain. Let us consult the guide. Oh, you'll like this one. Really? Because they are dead. Okay, yeah, I'm into it. Gramercy, the medium. In life, he spoke with the dead. Really? Who knows? But when he died, his own spirit returned and spoke through him. What? That's dumb. How so? This was called being alive. How did... Wait, what? His own spirit possessed his body. 
It's like literally the same thing as being alive. No, he was dead, but possessed. By himself. Yes. Oh god, this is dumb. So what's the moral of this one? Moral? Yeah, usually the star things like have this... Like this have some sort of moral. Sometimes things are just strange. That is the moral? Behehe. <laughs> That's our pair for this day. Oh, gee willikers, Mr. Chesovic. Behehe. <laughs> willikers. Wow, that was pretty great. Yes, it was. More in a couple days? Snake. Ooh, made the hill so difficult to climb. Fishing guy is gone still. Delicious pretzels, still can't take. Oh, hey, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, me. Feeling better? As well as to be expected, I suppose. That's good. Do you want to talk about your grandfather? Yeah. Possum Springs was built on our backs in the backs before us. Time was time was they didn't pay the people in real money. They paid in little tokens and bills stamped with the company name. Good at the company store. Or company goods. Back in school they showed us some of those. Weird quarters and stuff. Your grandfather remembered. His daddy experienced it firsthand. Mine boss came into town driving a big fancy car. Night I met your grandfather. A real bastard, that boss. God forgave him. Your grandfather runs out of the dance. I think he was a bit drunk or just stupid in some brave way. He shouts, The guts of all the bosses! He all of a sudden has a hunting knife from somewhere, and he slashes the boss's tires. Ha 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 ha, wow. Picks up a rock, puts it through the windshield. Then he climbs up. I'm sorry, this part's a bit rude. Holy shit, don't stop. He pees through the windshield hole. This is amazing. They catch him? Nah, no, just me and a few other folks saw it. I trot over to him, and we run off down the alley. That's the AOK -okay drugstore. Big field, big parking lot nowadays. Stars fat and bright. I guess we were both pretty drunk. One thing led to another. Oh, okay. Wait, when was this? A uh, very long time ago. Was he... So what happened with the car? <laughs> Got towed away. Police couldn't get no witnesses. We weren't snitches about that kind of thing. Damn right. So like I said, who got troublemaker blood? <laughs> Jeez, I never knew this. Don't think your daddy even knows. I bet not. Going to tell him? Yes, no, yes, no, no. Secret keeper like me, eh? I just think it'd be a weird conversation. You may find someday it isn't so strange. I want to pass this story along to you. It was one night, one thing he did, in a lifetime of nights and things he did. What you want to do with that is part of your story now. I can't talk much more for today. I'd like to know more about him. That, this was crazy. I'll see you, May. Sooner or later. Okay. Bye, Miss Rosa. Bye for now, May Baroshki. Teens. Hey, uh, kind of a weird question, but... Is anyone missing? What? Like, anyone you know who was out last night? Didn't come back? Uh, I don't think so. 
What's going on? Nothing. Thought I saw something. Okay, uh... Should tell us if this some... Just be careful, okay? Keep an eye out. Let me know if you see anything weird, okay? I mean, you all hang out together constantly. You're safer than anyone else I know. The stairs we go. So has something changed here now that Harfest is over? Oh, just the Harfest <laughs> flyer is gone. Hey, hey, church mom. Hey, hey, heathen daughter. Oh, I'll make it in here someday. But come on, seriously, no one likes getting up on Sundays. Yeah, well, you don't have to get up at 4.30 in the morning for work every day. I find it very enriching. Your father does too, mostly. But he attends, and that's important. He knows it means a lot to me. All right, well, guilt trip thoroughly guilt thoroughly tripped. You do work for the church. That's not what faith is like, hon. There's more grace than condemnation. Kind of, whatever. All right, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. Can't go into the library still. Boing. I don't feel right about it. I know, but sometimes the right thing doesn't feel right. Just think it's just wrong to take something. Folks don't want you to take it. Well, I feel like God would see this differently. I do, at least. Hmm. I think that's because you're a good person. Hmm. Curious. One day the invisible wall will be gone, and I will accidentally jump to my doom. Oh, I can actually talk to her now. Hey, hey! Hey again! Hey. So I had this really bad dream last night. Me too. I dreamt I was a pizza. I was afraid of, I was afraid someone would slice me. Jeez. Yep. This just makes me sad. We don't have a pizza place anymore. Got to order it from out by the highway now. Tragic. I had a dream I was a goose flying south. I had to keep up with the other gooses, or I'd get lost. That's sad. It weren't a good dream. What are you all talking about? Big meeting coming up. City council. Yep. About... About Bruce here. Ugh. Jeez. Mm. Sleepy. Wow, that's intense. Appreciate your prayers. This is precisely the kind of time where God shows up. Hope so. Me too. Okay, bye.
Headphones are slipping off. Wonder if I'll be able to enter the tower someday. So today's my last day. Oh dear, we're going to miss you. It happened so fast. Let us know how it is. I will, I'll come visit. Can't leave you two to fend for yourselves. Oh dear, what are we going to do without you? You all wanna go see a movie or something? <laughs> yeah, let me get settled in. We could go on an outing. You'll see me whenever you go for groceries. That's true. I ain't going far. Not far at all. Coffee, smoke, coffee, smoke, coffee, smoke. The old pickaxe. Baby. Hey, uh, thanks again for last night. I owe you one. It's fine. It was fun. My night got, like, real weird and bad after. How so? Tell you later, I guess. Still like putting it together. Okay, well, let me know how that goes. Hey, Will. You think it's a bad practice day? Yeah, I'm going to go hunt down Greg. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, no, he's at the snack fountain. Falcon. I don't know how that guy stays employed. He steals constantly, breaks supplies for fun, and leaves work whenever he wants. Greg plays by his own rules. Feels more like the world plays by his rules. Whoa. I don't even know what that means. Still, whoa. War is some bullshit. You hear me, statue? I guess you were drafted. Ugh. You died before you got to enjoy the statue they made of you. It's garbage. They can't make me go to war. I'll go underground. I'll join some sort of group that's against war and stuff. We'll blow up war stuff and sabotage other war stuff. I'll live in the shadow for decades. No address. Always on the run. Living in a trailer in the desert. It'll be awesome. You up for brand practice in a bit? I guess. Weird night. How so? I'll tell you about it later. And that's all we're going to tell Angus. Whoa. Someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss you, pizza place. So why is my phone going crazy? It's wet again. And I'm cold again. It's just rain. Hey, uh, why are we still standing out here? Someone has to. Gotta give the player a dialogue op box. What's up, dude? Ugh. Uh? Long night, weird night. What's up? So yeah, band practice. Cool. What you up to? Just saying hello. Yep, we still got a couple more areas to go through before we do that. Hey, dude. Hey, you. Working here now? Yep, sucks. But it pays. Question, how do they fit a kitchen in there? Barely. 
What do you do here? Grill man and janitor. I cook and mop. At the same time? Yes. Hey, what's up, kid? Sniff, sniff. You smell weird. Why is my aunt's car here? That's your aunt? Yeah. Oh, weird. That... Oh, weird. That, like, makes you half cop? You'll never half catch me, half cop Ha 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 ha. I don't know what they're doing up there. Huh. You go to Harfest? Nah, over it. Cool. I had kind of a weird time. Weird bad time, actually. It's a guaranteed weird bad time. Yeah. Those people from yesterday still here? Don't know. We're not, like, good friends or anything. Oh yeah, I don't know why I thought you'd know. I was wondering if they'd ever met K Casey. Out there somewhere. I can ask. I used to ask. I just hate thinking about him out there all by himself. Ah, Casey's tough. He'll be fine. You gotta get out, you gotta get out. Yeah, I guess. Well, see you at band practice. Real talk, do you actually like watching us play? Yeah, I mean, you're not good, but yeah. Not my style. What is your style? Black metal, uh, thrash cross over hip-hop. I like Witch Dagger. They're kind of metal. Oh yeah, like that Doom shit, right? da da durga Totally. What? You know, one time a guy followed me home. Like, a guy from the tracks. What did you do? It was like some night back in the summer. And out of the corner of my eye, I could kind of see this dude. Take this turn out of the parking lot and start creeping up the hill. Like, 50 feet back. Like, I didn't want to look right at him. Ah, I took a detour through the woods and sat in a tree. It was getting dark, but, like, I could see him standing just off the road, waiting for me to come down. Holy shit, what'd you do? After it got dark, I climbed down and got up the hill real quick. Ah, yeah, it was a weird bad time. Ah, I'm so upset right now. Haha, <laughs> I know, right? See ya. That was a very long dialogue. What were you doing out here last night? Saw someone kidnap someone like a kid. Tell me what you saw again. Someone in a big old coat with someone over their back. Uh-huh. You chased them down here? Yeah, and I got to the fence and they were up in the woods. All right, thank you, May. Uh, I knew you were just going to brush this off. May, there's been no missing person reports. That tends to happen when a kid goes missing from something like Harfest. Hell, I got six calls about kids out too late. There would be a report. I'm reporting this. This right here. This is a report. May, there's no break in the fence. So? So unless someone could jump this thing while carrying a teenager who hasn't been reported as missing... Any theories, May? No. Could have gone around the... My headset just shut off suddenly. I do not know why, because I charged it. I was running around half the night, getting after teenage bullshit. People scared of clotheslines and noises. I, you, you, ah! You trying to kick off a horror movie? 
No one believes the girl who saw the ghost. Well, I have bad news for you. The cop always dies. I'm sorry, we're talking about a ghost now? They must have gone through the fence? Really, May? No, yes, I don't know. I'm really tired. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Will you at least check the woods? May, me and Dan McConnell were up there this morning because of what you said last night. From the fence up to the old mine, we found a couple teenagers on a grass mattress. Saw some worried looking deer. One deer hunter out too early. That can't be it. That is it. The cop always dies. Welp. Time for band practice, I suppose. Time for me to suck at the rhythm game again. What am I doing? I need to go into the snack vault again. What you up to? Want to head out to band practice? Yeah, let's do this. Oh boy. Back to watch this fiasco again, huh? Yep. You're our only fan, Germ. I'm just here to be entertained. I'm a gentleman of leisure. Nice. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Ugh, I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door. It was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs. That goes out onto the roof. Now I can, like, I don't know, run from that door down in the lobby up to the roof. And pee off the side of the building? Yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that, too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Fair, ready to go? Yeah, let's do this shit. Oh, boy. <laughs> I can't. Why is there no difficulty setting for this? <laughs> Why? <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> wow, May, that was uh, pretty bad is what it was. I literally do not know this song. Why is it set to hard difficulty? Woo! So fast. Just pushed a button. I'm so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. I'm going to sound so husky. I need to take a drink. Anyway, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. 
this guy who I think was a ghost kidnapped some kid and also I think was in my head after while I was sleeping. Anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something because this is scary. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. You okay, dude? Yeah. No, I'm kind of freaked out. <laughs> probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Ugh. Okay, fine, I'll go figure this out myself. Aw, oh, dude, don't be like that. You got us. Aw, oh, dudes. Okay, fine. So we need to maybe see if there's, like, some ghosty stuff happening around here. Like, from a source we can trust. Such as... Does the newspaper have, like, a ghost section? What? Why is that a dumb question? You know, we could go check the library. For books about it? No, they have the local paper on file. Going back a century. There's like some secret history of kidnapper ghosts. We'll find it there, probably. Oh wow, I didn't know they had that. Thought it was just like a broken down old bunch of books. When's the last time you were at the library? We actually have of the nicer ones around here. Oh, how? Rich dude who paid for it way back when? Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh, sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo, ghosties. That's the spirit. The library. Look, jobs. Weird, like... When this was painted, it was like, hey, look out the window. We're all working. Things are great. Now it's like one of those graffiti murals where someone gets shot or hit by a car. This mural is really affecting you. I forget that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. I reject your reality and substitute my own. Hey, closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the microfiche is? Microfiche. Microfiche. Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. Slow night? Yep. Spooky here, all alone. I'd be spooked. Eh. Larry's wandering around here somewhere. Fish. Oh, hey, I can move past into the kids' section. Holy crap! What? It's Charity Barity. What's Charity Barity? How do you not know Charity Barity? I assume this is something from school. The school being five freaking years old. Alright, so this was the thing you liked as a kid? No, I hated Charity Barity. It does look really hateable. It was like kidnapped by a cult or under some curse where a cute thing followed you around 24-7. Yelling about, like, sharing and not littering. Paying taxes. Oh, well, that's an important uh, skill. I was five! I'm 20 now, and I still haven't paid taxes. Charity Barity goes to a state infrastructure budgeting meeting. Ugh, I forgot the worst part. It w it always rhymed. Charity Barity. Oh no. Austerity. What's that? Reason the two bridges in and out of 
Saltstown are still closed. Oh, wow. You still can't, like, go to Saltstown? You're welcome to try. Jeez, they sure made a lot of these books. I think they're still making them. This one looks pretty old. Charity Barity. Danger everywhere itty. That's vague and disconcerting. Who just kept updating that one book? Charity Barity looks like he got pulled out of South Park. Looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Targ. Born 1967. 50 years old. Let's see. Experience? Mining? Construction? Well drilling? Never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50's not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? Ideally. Should be like guaranteed should be guaranteed in general going to join my young socialist chatterbox group is this not the floor I wanted going up going down Sniff, sniff. Oh, wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here? Yep, ghost. Or something. Whatever he was. He walked through a chain link fence. Or flew over it. Or something. While carrying something. Oh, right, well, that's even more impressive. So we're going to go find this guy because he took someone he's like somehow connected to this thing i've been going through that's not good that all sounded a lot more badass in my head it's okay it was fine a microfiche reader all right, there she is. Cool. So, I have no idea how to use it. Really? I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? This whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. You think that's so stupid? Why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. Aw. Ugh. Aw, we friends be a twist. Here, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumbass is in charge. Alright, so what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Move, I'm steering. Ow. Jeez, May. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. How do we do this? Ugh. Step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Sure. So let's see. Strike. Oh, ghost little Joe at it again. Hi, piracy. Ooh, old store in town center. Possum massacre. Tale of Teeth. Oh, wow. This is gnarly. And awesome. Ha 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 ha. Oh, my God. I wonder if that's related to the tooth we found. Rumors on New Historical Society. Hmm, this is interesting, but yeah, not exactly about a ghost.
No ghosts to be found here. The way you say ghost, it sounds like you don't believe me. This one? No ghost. No ghost here. No ghost here. No ghost here. No ghost here. Okay, now we'll actually start hitting the ghost ones. Look, scooch so I can see. Graveyard, that's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff, that's where they'd make a lot of them. It's like they saw him in the old section. Oh, cool, that's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? This is like actual dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. Ghosts are history. History that won't stay history. Ha ha ha, that's actually pretty good. Hey, look at this. Hmm, yeah. Looks like Possum Jump. Let me read it. It's Possum Jump. Okay, yeah, that's back up in the state park, right? Yeah. Ever been up there? Nope. Come check it out, though. Go nuts. There's at least one more, I'm sure. Where was it? Hey, hey, hey! Ghost spotted! Historical Society? History that won't stay history. In his in a history place. History place? Yeah, I've never been. You didn't go back in school? I think this was when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. Yeah, mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house. Used to be owned by one of... The mine owners or something? Railroad? Mine? Steel mill? Something like that? An actual haunted house? Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have, like, summer arts and crafts programs. Oh, well, still worth checking out. Okay, well, that's like three leads. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Also, is that it? Yeah. Three clues. We got three leads. You're a regular detective. May Borowski, a detective of ghosts. All right, all right, let's go. We got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless, but do you? Nope. No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into this society. Okay, well, I have. You know, a job. So I can't drive you around to all of these spots. Can maybe do the graveyard? I need to go there anyway. Cool, I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like, and I have probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past... Doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey, nerd, ever hear that history repeats? It does, 
does the same thing over and over again. So we've just been in the loop since we were living in the caves? Yeah, that's science. Oh my freaking god. Ahem. What is... Is that Miss... Quilisi? Oh wow, I haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a badass. School district did not fund that art program at all. She made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. Should be saving that string to repair those bridges into Salt's Town. There you go. Thank you all for coming to this second meeting. The Possum Springs Poetry Society. Do you want to stick around for this? Yeah. Tonight we have a new poems from myself. And Fisherman Jones. And Selma Ann Forrester. I will start us off with one of my own. Big city, they don't actually pay in this. Yeah. How'd she end up here? Who knows? <laughs> Letter to my worst student. To my worst student. The subject of my stories. I tell friends back home when they ask about life out here in the sticks. It's you, I worry, at the end of my life. You will be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know. It was you, Brian. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Is that legal? <laughs> what? Talking about details about students like that? She didn't name names. Yeah, she did. Okay, no full names. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Two. Two poems. They're short, though. Two poems. Take it away. Uh, hi, folks. Thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels, Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time, born in muck and raised in slime. But neither do you know the paths I've trudged, so it's hardly your place to judge. Okay, that's one poem. The next one is shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs. Tunnel frogs swim in the dark. Must think it would be a lark to be a fisherman like me. But what do you know, amphibi? Amphib That's it. It's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. Worry about what the fish think. It really talks to the actual fish. Oh, most definitely. Finally, a poem by Selma Ann Forrester. Yay, Selmers. Thanks, May. You know her? Dude, she's like your neighbor. Oh. She writes these really funny, dorky, short poems. I'm up for something short and funny. This is called There's No Reception in Possum Springs. <laughs> she's not wrong. <clears throat> no reception here. I wave my black phone. The air like a flare, like a prayer, but no reception. I read on the internet, baby face boy billionaire. Phone app sold, made more money in one day than my family over a hundred generations. More than my whole world has a world has world where house buying jobs become rent paying jobs became living with family jobs. Too real. <laughs> Boy billionaires. Money is access access to politicians waiting for us to die. Lead in our water, alcohol, and painkillers. Place my job with an app. Replace my dreams of a house and a yard with a couch in the basement. The future is yours. Force 24-7 entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck in my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement and they're in the house in the yard. Some night I will catch a bus out to the West Coast. 
and burn their Silicon City to the ground. Holy shit. Wow. Damn. Oh, she rhymed entrepreneur. I don't even know what that word means. Thanks, everyone. She always liked this? No? Wow. Huh. Thanks, everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey, Selmers. What? I liked your weird poem. Thanks. I wrote it myself. Wait, was the assumption that she didn't write it hers? Nice work, Smelmers. I don't like that nickname. What are you two? Sorry. It's cool. Can we go now? Okay, thanks for coming. We live here. Right, so. Find out anything about your ghost? Yeah, tell him, B. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost, Little Joe. Don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost. Like, filled with, like, dread and shit. I'm terrified. Okay. So, it mentioned three different places we can all check. Look out. Uh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. You guys skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up? Share custody of you and your ghost? What places were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard? I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? Sure is. The Historical Society. You know, you don't have to, like, break in. People there like getting paid to show it to you. Anyway... I'm in for the Historical Society. Awesome. So what did I get stuck with? Possum Jump. I know Possum Jump. We used to go there in Scouts. Perfect. Okay, I need to, like, actually get home and do work. This is going to be awesome. And I'm also scared to death. <laughs> Mysterious Tooth. Thought if I die, Selmer should write a poem about it. Er. Yeah, seems like that's going around. The er. Yippers. So, uh, you and Mom have a bit of fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. I thought you two were getting along. We were. We are. Just a bump. You two always two alike. I guess. I got your chill and her smart assness. I'd just hate to see you two on the outs again. It'll be fine. We're cool. So we're having money problems? What? No, we're fine. Dad. May, it's fine. It's okay. I'm 20. I can handle it. Nothing to handle. Okay. Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple days. Good, I don't have to voice the stupid talk show. Hey, May. Let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map, and it's pretty, a pretty straight shot up to Possum Jump. Okay, great. We never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Tip's hat. Yo, I looked up the Historical Society on the internet. It's really old, but they did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but... 
Old stuff that just got torn up seems like Ghost Central. How so? There's a ghost hanging out in an old house. Then someone puts in a pool where you died or something. Haunted pools would actually be scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. Hey, let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. I don't know. Thanks, B. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going to be there anyway, and it's like right down the road. You're ruining this. <laughs> oh, in that case, you are so incredibly welcome, and also you better not forget this big favor. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep. Had fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just... It's fine. Wait, did you fall asleep? Lol. <laughs> All right, bedtime. Time for another spooky dream where I have to find ghost magicians sitting on towers. I was being sarcastic. I don't want to actually keep doing this. There's some loopy shit going on around here now. What's with the fish? That's the edge of the world. Can I, like, be done with this? Ah, 
Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So it seems like it takes about an hour to do a day in this game. I'm really not sure how much more I have left in this game, but I suppose I'll just keep going until I finish, so I'll be back next week, probably. We'll see.